Well, the owners of a Toronto coffee stand who turned to a new technology to help with their business says that decision has cost them thousands of dollars. Now, that technology is called Square, and it allows customers to tap or swipe their credit cards to pay for a purchase. But as John Lancaster tells us, it's not a glitch that's the problem, but literally the beans in the brew. Monica Mustelier sells cups of Joe at her little Havana mobile coffee trailer. But it's her dough, that is her missing money, that started all this. Where is that money is a really great question. We're out almost, I would say, over $14,000 now. Since late August, she says about $14,000 worth of payments she collected using Square never made it into her bank account. The problem persisted for weeks, so much so she started accepting cash only, fearing more money might go missing. I would say at least 80% of our customers use cards, credit cards or debit, and we've lost a lot of business because of that. She says Square Canada led her to believe it was a glitch involving what it called an acquiring processor. Now she says they've told her it's not a tech issue at all. It's about her coffee beans, Cuban coffee beans. Mustelier says Square Canada told her they use a U.S. bank to help process their customers' payments. Well, the U.S. has a trade embargo against Cuba, and the U.S. bank, well, seemingly it has concerns over payments for Cuban coffee beans. Mustelier's coffee stand doesn't do business in the U.S., and the Cuban beans are imported legally through a Canadian distributor. Her bank account is also in Canada. A Square Canada spokesperson confirmed with CBC News there is no tech problem, but did not respond to specific questions. In the meantime, Mustelier says Square Canada has suggested they'll refund her the $14,000. We have a family and our employees have families, you know, and they need to get paid and so, and so do we. She also says Little Havana will be looking for another tech company to process payments, one that uses only Canadian banks. John Lancaster, CBC News, Toronto.